I thought I would film my daily makeup routine today. Um, at the moment I just have this ooh, <laughs> eco concealer in a light shade because I have very fair skin. Um, just all natural mineral makeup. And that's what I like using. So this is just a liquid foundation. That's pretty good. Pretty good. It just says eco on it. So eco minerals Byron Bay. There you go. So I'm just I don't put it all over my face because I don't need it all over my face. I just put it in the areas that need it. So like under my eyes. And I haven't taken off my eye makeup properly from the day before, so I've got a little bit more black under there than usual. If I put mascara on, I usually don't take it off. And it kind of just leaks down my face for days. <laughs> mascara is so annoying to get off though. Like, I don't use harsh, harsh chemicals on my face, harsh makeup removers or anything. So, oh. So that's usually the amount I put on. But, um, the last two nights, I've been going to bed near midnight and getting up at like 5 or 4, so I have dark circles under my eyes, lack of sleep. So there's no amount of makeup that can cover that shit. And I don't do the whole contouring thing, you could probably cover it up with drag queen style makeup, but I don't know, I'm just going to look tired, because I am, I have not been getting enough sleep. I would love to be able to like get my sleep down to a few hours a night because I love life. There are people in the world who are like, have trained themselves to have really good quality sleep. I mean, I heard there's a chair, I read there's a chair that a scientist or someone invented that you can get your sleep in an hour because it just straight to REM sleep just right there getting that quality sleep in and that you feel really great and refreshed after an hour but um these chairs are not commercially available yet I'm sure you could make your own so um obviously don't really need makeup but and putting makeup on my face does give me pimples because I leave it on a lot I don't wash it off it kind of my face eats it and it disappears over the day but you know that's why I gotta exfoliate my skin I just exfoliate my skin to get it off but I haven't had an exfoliant in a few weeks at least maybe a month I ran out and I didn't want to get the chemical exfoliants anymore. And I bought this. It's all right. They're not really bright, but maybe that's a good thing because uh, well, the white doesn't really work that well at all. Um, and the other colours, like, yeah, they come out very light. This is probably, these two will probably come out the best. The purple and the beige. So, I like using the more natural tones. Um, yeah. So, every time I do my makeup, I do it a bit differently, but because I kind of experiment and see what works and what doesn't work. I'm not really like a pro or anything. 
I've only figured this out in the last couple of years. I've never been good at doing my makeup, but yes. If I'm doing a show on stage, I do it very dark because um, nighttime makeup's a lot harder to recognize or see. It's the little lighting and being on stage, whew, especially sweating. Well, your makeup just disappears, I'm crying. I get to find out how long this actually takes me. I don't usually do this every day, but I do like this look. See, I haven't even blended it properly out the sign there. I'm actually really lazy with my makeup. <laughs> Just winging it. I have my makeup professionally done maybe twice in my life. Once at a wedding when I was 12 and the other time for one of our music clips. And oh my gosh, that was, I looked amazing. I didn't even look like me. <laughs> there must have been some contouring going on. Um, so I looked extra fabulous, hyper real or whatever. So that's okay. That got pretty dark. So, there's that one. And next I do blush and I wear a lot of blush. And this one is probably Avon, crappy chemical, probably tested on animals. Probably has animals in it, I'm not sure, I have no idea. It's very old, probably, almost, yeah, over five years old but I haven't replaced it yet with, I haven't found a blush that I like yet that's natural to replace it with. So, yeah, I kind of just, like I used to put it really high, like up here. And I like that, but I saw in this video, this woman had it like midway and that looks really good too. I just kind of, Everyone does it differently. It's just like, what shape do you want your face to look like? But I just like the colors, it gives a bit more color. Um, and I just started copying what other people are doing and they do this. Shaping the face. Yeah. And my face will eat this during the day and it will disappear. Because that's what my face does. I used to like when I had the good white one, I used to just put white like there and under there and that looks really professional and nice as well. This is a, another one you should buy. That's old, and I have no idea. Just doing a makeup tutorial. He's fascinated. I don't know. 
I haven't really got many lippies yet. No. I've never really spent much makeup on, much money on makeup ever. Yeah. Um, this is a good one. I've ripped the label off because it sharpened down to the label. Uh, it says vegan on it. It's another eco one that comes from all the stores. I got these like eco brushes from eco tools, vegan. These are from Flannery's. This is from some health store in Oasis shopping center in Broad Beach. And they're good vegan. I, this is a really good one. So yeah, I just make my eyebrows a little bit darker. Just make them look a little bit neater. And yeah, if I was going out, I'd make all of this really dark. And I don't typically think I suit lipstick, but I've always liked it. I'm not an eyeliner expert, okay? I just do this. So, like it's 12 minutes now, but... This really doesn't take me long though, like... I'm putting a little bit more effort in for the camera. So, this is messy, yes. So I got this new lipstick and I don't remember, I don't recommend this one. Ew. It's not vegan, it's vegetarian. I didn't realize. Zooey? I think it's got honey in it. I think I read the box and I was like, after I bought it, I was like, ah, fuck sakes. So I have got one MAC one left, which I bought years ago. The only lipstick I've ever bought. I've only ever bought two. So it's got some type of wax thing in it. Honey based, I think. So, eh. I just wasn't thinking. But I also have this, um, sometimes I use this, but yeah, as I said, Annoying. I Perez, and this is a vegan one. I did find a vegan YouTuber that, you know, you can make your own mascara. I think I'll try making that because this is all right. But yeah, I just don't like taking it off. And it melts down your face. Not on the first day, you know, when you have a share and stuff. Don't take it off. So, I have naturally long eyelashes. People think I put fake eyelashes on, but I just am really good at putting on mascara. I put on so many layers, but it still looks natural and nice, but. You know, I'm not like those British women that put on three layers of fake eyelashes and just shove mascara all over them and Vaseline or whatever they put on them to make them thicker. I know there's little like alive things on the end of our eyelashes that eat dust and things and I'm pretty sure we're killing them by covering them in makeup. So, be damned my eyes, be damned.